I mean, we can imagine the kind of chaos that would ensue if we moved to an electronic money system and that system went offline for any significant period of time, days, weeks or more. My name is Garrick Heilman. I'm a research fellow at the University of Cambridge and my claim to fame is that I was one of the first academically trained economists to take an interest in Bitcoin and blockchain technology. So central banks, as our data shows, are, are actively testing blockchain technology for a variety of different use cases, everything from new central bank uh, digital currencies uh, new payment systems to kind of records management, having having uh, you know some kind of uh, audit trail for certain functions and so on. There's actually a long list of things that central banks are looking uh, at blockchains to do. Uh, there, there's a number of advantages potentially to central banks by by incorporating blockchains. Probably the the most significant is the resiliency of the blockchain technology. Uh, the fact that Bitcoin has been operating for just about nine years now and has suffered not a nanosecond of downtime is, is quite compelling. I mean, not very many large IT systems today can uh, claim the kind of uptime that Bitcoin claims. And if you're a central bank providing uh, critical infrastructure, payment systems, you know, thinking about maybe moving away from physical cash to a completely electronic money-based system, having a technology that is resilient and will have zero downtime is actually really important. I mean, we can imagine the kind of chaos that would ensue if we moved to an electronic money system and that system went offline for any significant period of time, days, weeks or more, um, you would likely see you know, pandemonium in the streets if people can't make payments. Um, so blockchain could be quite resilient. It could be uh, also um, a way to create greater transparency into central banking, uh, more, more credibility uh, because of the, uh, the rules. Uh, that a blockchain-based system enforces. But there are a number of challenges too. There's a concern around the lack of privacy, interestingly, uh, of blockchain technology. Uh, Bitcoin is famous for offering high levels of privacy, but actually um, blockchains leak data, leak information. It's possible to figure out who's doing what on a blockchain system because it's a public record. And so the lack of privacy could also be a concern and a hesitation for, for central banks uh, thinking about blockchain technology.